Good morning. It's Wednesday, May 18th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, No Wiggle Room, and our scripture is Leviticus chapter 19. When you harvest the crops of your land, do not harvest the grain along the edges of your fields, and do not pick up what the harvesters drop. It is the same with your grape crop. Do not strip every last bunch of grapes from the vines, and do not pick up the grapes that fall to the ground. Leave them for the poor and the foreigners living among you. I am the Lord your God. Do not steal. Do not deceive or cheat one another. Do not bring shame on the name of your God by using it to swear falsely. I am the Lord. Do not defraud or rob your neighbor. Do not make your hired workers wait until the next day to receive their pay. Do not insult the deaf or cause the blind to stumble. You must fear your God. I am the Lord. Do not twist justice in legal matters by favoring the poor or being partial to the rich and powerful. Always judge people fairly. Do not spread slanderous gossip among your people. Do not stand idly by when your neighbor's life is threatened. I am the Lord. Do not nurse hatred in your heart for any of your relatives. Confront people directly so you will not be held guilty for their sin. Do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against a fellow Israelite, but love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. Did you ever notice how narrowly the Bible describes acceptable behavior? And the target is also narrowly specific. If you're going to claim the name, it must show up in your game. W.C. Fields and Mae West were larger-than-life entertainment during the transition between silent movies and the early soundstage. They were also masters of the flamboyant and risque shock banter. They were also both practicing atheists with no religious affiliation nor claim to being remotely moral. The legend has it that when Fields was in the hospital in the mid-1940s and near expiring, Mae West came to visit him. When she walked into the hospital room, she was shocked to see Fields immersed in reading a Bible. And she asked him, Fields, I've never known you to be interested in God, honey. What are you doing? The old profligate looked up at her, held out the Bible, and said, Looking for loopholes, my dear, looking for loopholes. I was born a year after Fields died, but had I been there, I could have saved the old man a bit of his labors. There aren't any loopholes in God's word. I doubt that would have been any comfort to a man who'd spent his entire life avoiding God to know that he'd be facing the throne in heaven shortly without excuses and with no lawyer to plead his case. The Leviticus passage gets to the very core of who we are. Not many would have the temerity to claim innocence all the way through that list of non-loopholes. By definition, a loophole is a small mistake in an agreement or law that gives someone the chance to avoid having to do something. Well, people may attempt to poke holes in God's word, but no such loophole, black hole, or any other kind of hole in the authority of the word of the Lord has been found. It's been 76 years since W.C. Fields found that out in a face-to-face meeting with the author. For you today, the only alternative to finding a non-existent loophole is to find the peace that passes understanding, which is to be found in confessing Christ as Lord. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.